Seats are an important part of billing in Figma, as the number of paid seats in your plan determines your overall subscription cost. But what is a paid seat? How do people get one? And how do admins upgrade or downgrade seats for their colleagues? Let's find out. Figma has three paid plans, professional, organization, and enterprise. Every member and guest on your plan has a seat in each of Figma's products, like Figma Design and FigJam. Their seat type for each product determines whether they are a free or paid user of that product. Let's talk about paid users first. People with a full seat type are paid users and can use the full set of features for each product. Here's an example. Otto here has a full seat in both Figma Design and FigJam. In Figma Design, Otto can use all the design features like libraries for design systems, prototyping, variables, you name it. They can also use Dev Mode, a developer toolkit for turning designs into code. In FigJam, Otto can use all the features for brainstorming, diagramming, and running meetings and workshops. Okay, so how about free users? Free users are anyone with a viewer or viewer restricted seat. People with these seat types can view and add comments to files that live in a professional team or an organization. They can also create and edit files, but only in their drafts. The difference between the viewer and viewer restricted seat type is how people can upgrade to a paid seat. People with a viewer seat can get a full seat by taking certain actions in each product, like editing a file that lives in a team. Let's take a look at an example. Julian, who has a full seat, shares a design file with Sav to get their input on some designs. When Sav signs up for Figma, they are automatically assigned a free viewer seat. If Sav edits the file to riff on the designs Julian sent them, Sav will get upgraded to a full design seat. By default, new users who join a paid plan start with a viewer seat in each product. This helps remove blockers for people to work together when and how they need to. But sometimes admins want more control over who gets a paid seat. In this case, admins can assign someone a viewer restricted seat. People with a viewer restricted seat can do everything a viewer seat can do, but they need to request an upgrade to move to a paid seat. Admins can also change the default seat type from viewer to viewer restricted, so all new users must make a request if they need an upgrade to a paid seat. Admins can approve or decline these requests as they come in. Admins can manage seats from the Members tab in Admin. This table shows everyone who is part of your Figma team or organization and what seat types they have. Let's dive in. I've just moved into an IT admin role and don't need to edit files anymore. So I'm going to downgrade myself to a viewer restricted seat in both Figma Design and FigJam. I still have access to all the files that have been shared with me, but I can't edit them anymore. Oh, and here's Joey. Joey just joined our company and I can see they have a full Figma Design seat and a viewer seat in FigJam. So in our subscription, we're only paying for Joey to use Figma Design right now. I can hover over the full seat to see how they moved from a free seat to a paid seat. And with a viewer seat in FigJam, Joey can upgrade to a full seat if they start working with their team in that product. Oh, one more thing. If you're on the organization and enterprise plans, you'll notice there's also a dedicated seat for dev mode in Figma Design. Dev mode is included with full Figma Design seats, but it's also available as a standalone paid seat for people who don't need the design features of Figma Design. Ah, here's an example. Jenny is a developer on our team and uses dev mode to transform designs into code. She doesn't need to edit design files, so Jenny has a full dev mode seat and a viewer restricted seat in Figma Design and FigJam. And that's how you manage seats in Figma. Thanks for watching.